cannot believe how long ten dollars, which is crazy. Uh -huh. Got my nails done. Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is gonna be about me working Super Bowl weekend. Super Bowl is on Sunday. Today is currently Thursday, so I'm gonna definitely work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and probably Monday. We'll see if I'm not too tired. But if you guys don't already know, Super Bowl is gonna be in Vegas for the first time ever in history so you guys already know it's going to be crazy it's going to be like formula one all over again but probably crazier or maybe just the same i don't know so today i'm going to take you guys with me to go get some starbucks get some food get my nails done get them a little bit shorter and then do a pedicure and then i'm going to start getting ready for work and then head in so i am super excited and yeah so it is a little chilly outside today in Vegas. It did just rain, so this is going to be the outfit for today. Just some sweats, these cute little shoes, and this cute long sleeve. If you guys ever go back to Starbucks, you need to get this. This is so good. This is what I always get. It's um, a venti white mocha frappuccino with oat milk, two vanilla syrup, three caramel syrup three toffee knot no whip because i do not like whip and a caramel crunch on the top which is so so good and then i also got me a bacon sausage wrap with some sriracha sauce i'm in the car right now so i am just going to eat really quick and then go to my nail appointment. I have about like an hour left, so I'm just gonna eat and yeah. Okay guys, just got my nails done. Look, it's so cute, perfect for Valentine's Day. And this is my girl. She's about to do my pedicure, she is the best. I'm gonna put her um, information on my bio so you guys can go check her out. So I wanted to show you guys my Valentine's Day nails. They are so adorable. And also, please do not bully me in the comments about my bunion. I know I have a really big bunion and I'm really insecure about it. But you guys know I'm really open with you guys about everything about my life. So for those of you that are new here, I actually don't have toenails. Every time they grow, they grow dead. And that happened because I don't know if I wore tight shoes or I went to a nail salon where they just use dirty equipment so every time my real toenail grows it's like fat dark green it's just really really disgusting so i go to a specific nail tech in vegas but she actually uses um it's called like proxy and also a year ago i had to get this toenail completely removed because i had a little accident so this toenail doesn't grow, but because it's been a year and the nail bed got hard, she was able to put proxy on top of it. So this is my first time having an actual toenail in a whole year. That's why I always wear band-aids on my toes, especially just this one, because you know I couldn't put anything on top of it. So I'm really happy with with the results and i am just so grateful for my nail tech because she's truly amazing and she's just so sweet so if you guys want to go support her and check her out if you're in vegas definitely just make an appointment and just check her out you can see i'm finally back home i think it's about maybe like 6 30 p.m i am probably going to order some food and then try and take maybe like an hour or two nap because it's gonna be a really long night. So yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Probably wondering why I'm laying on the floor. <laughs> I wanna cuddle with my cat, but she doesn't wanna go on the bed. And I just want cuddles. So I decided to lay on the floor. Hi, Boach. You're so cute. Okay, guys, I'm just waking up right now. It is currently 10.46 p.m. Whew, that was a good nap. I could have definitely slept longer, but I got to get up because I really need to get ready for work. I originally set my alarm for, um, for 12, but I ended up waking up earlier. But yeah, a little update. I got two friends who are at Rhino right now and they said that it is 
act like there is a whole line and yeah so i'm gonna take a shower i'm gonna get on tiktok live to hang out with my followers drink a little juicy juicy drink if you know what i mean which is a shot <laughs> and then yeah so it's gonna be a long night y'all it's gonna be a long long night so i'm gonna get going and i will see you after i am done getting ready Okay guys, I am done getting ready and I'm so excited. This is my outfit for today. Just some pants, some shoes, sure. I got my sword in the car because it's really cold outside. It's currently 12.36 a.m. It's super fucking late, I know. Don't judge me. It's Thursday, I should be there earlier, but girl, I had to take a nap. I was tired, I was like, oh my God, I'm tired, bitch. I need my beauty to sleep. And then I had to eat too, so, but yeah. All right, I'll see you there, wish me luck. Y'all, this is the line to uh, Spearmint Rhino. <laughs> I cannot believe how long this line is, girl. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six cars. I'm seventh in line. And there's a lot more cars behind me, too. So, girl, I'm nervous. I hope I'll make some money tonight because, shit, when there's a lot of girls, it's kind of hard, you know? But, you know, there's money for everybody. We got to stay positive and... Oh yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hey y'all, so I'm finally back home. It is literally almost 9 a.m. <laughs> to be exact, 8.57 in the morning. Tonight was, it was not bad, but it was okay. I made $1,010. Quick story time before I take a shower and go to sleep. I was on the floor for like a little bit. I maybe made like, like 60 bucks on the floor. And then I ended up getting chosen to go to the Vegas room. So at Rhino, there's like a celebrity room, which is obviously where celebrities go in. That's why it's called a celebrity room. And then there's a Vegas room. Those are like one of the two biggest rooms that you want to get in as a stripper in these clubs because that is where all the money is at. So I ended up getting chosen to go to the Vegas room. And I was so upset because the last time that I was in the Vegas room, the maximum amount, amount of girls is from like 13 to like 15 girls. Long story short, the first time I went in the Vegas room, I got paid like seven, $800 for one hour plus tip and then plus like all the money that's on the floor. So the second time that I ended up going to the Vegas room, which was tonight, I thought I was already going to get paid for the hour. But I didn't know that when these customers, these fucking cheap as a men, they get to choose a different type of package, I guess, when it comes to these Vegas rooms. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to explain. I'm still trying to like process how all that shit works. Yeah, we didn't get paid for the hour. And girl, we were there for like two hours. Tell me why they didn't pay us for like the two hours that we were there. We only got tipped out like whatever money they had on the floor. I ended up getting like 800 and $22, I believe, for two hours, girl. Oh my God. I'm so upset because I could have gotten so much more money on the floor, but I'm over here thinking like, well, we're gonna get paid for the hour plus the tips that didn't happen. So yeah, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And I guess I will just have to try again tonight. Hopefully I make much more money because it is Super Bowl week. When it comes to these, big events, for example, Formula One, Super Bowl, big events that happens in Vegas. You never wanna get your hopes up because there's so many girls. I'm talking about like 300 girls working at the strip club, it's a lot. And I've talked about this before. I don't believe in competition. I believe that we can all make money and there's money for everybody. But yeah, it's okay. It happens, it is what it is. Well, I'm going to go take a shower and I already had dinner tonight at work. I had like some chicken tenders, which were shit. If you work at Rhino, they don't have the greatest food there. So I don't really recommend eating at work unless you're like starving, then go for it. 
but i'm gonna go take a shower i'm gonna go to sleep because i am so exhausted but yeah so i will see you guys when i wake up good night hello everybody it is friday it is 7 14 p.m i took a shower i'm going to eat and then get ready for work oh god it's gonna be such a long night i fucked up my toe remember how i got a pedicure yesterday yeah i got a pedicure and remember how i was like, explaining to you guys about my toenail like not having a toenail and putting like proxy on it yes girl so i ended up wearing closed toe shoes and my fucking toe hurts so bad so i have a double band-aid on and i'm gonna wear open toe shoes because wearing the closed toe shoes really fucked my toe up <laughs> for anyone out there who had who is dealing with the same situation as me girl i feel you you are not alone and do not be ashamed or be insecure about it because i've owned up to it anyways i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna get ready for work i'm gonna get on tiktok live here for those of you that are new to my youtube channel or don't follow me on tiktok i like to get on tiktok live a lot and talk to my supporters while i get ready for work sometimes i like to play tiktok matches like the games and i win like a little bit of money yeah it's so much fun you guys should try it last time i did my tiktok live games for the first time ever i won like 80 bucks which is not a lot but i'm like damn 80 dollars just to play games and have fun try it out anyways i'm gonna eat get ready for work and then i will see you when i'm all done with my makeup sorry i forgot to record my makeup let me i'm in my car right now this is the makeup looks like shit in the car but i'm on my way to work it is 10 12 p.m <sighs> wish me luck hopefully i can make some money i'll see you guys later good morning everybody it is 8 27 in the morning it was a late night not gonna lie i made money i'm so happy i made a thousand eight hundred and something dollars i don't remember exactly like how much i made but i almost made two thousand dollars y'all it's not a lot i mean i'm it's a lot you know but i'm very grateful that i was able to make that much money in one night there was a lot of girls tonight luckily there was no drama everything was cool everything was chill so that is day two working super bowl week well i'm gonna go take a shower and i will see you guys when i wake up so happy yes i'm so happy okay good night bye i'll see you tomorrow bye y'all i woke up so late <laughs> it's like 9 something p.m yeah and it's saturday it's gonna be one of the busiest nights of the week because it's the day before super bowl Ugh. but you know what it's fine we're still gonna go to work we're gonna pull through and fuck it fuck it who cares we're gonna do this. I'm so tired. <laughs> to eat some macaroni, or I don't know if it's macaroni, but it's like buffalo. It's like some frozen meal. Don't judge me, okay? I do not want to cook. I'm fucking exhausted. And I'm just gonna watch some Shark Tank, and then I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for work. So I will see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I finally made it to work. It is. 12 54 a.m. I know, fucking crazy. I got here super, super late. But I will see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, I'm finally back home. I'm sorry I couldn't record for you guys. I just, clubs are very weird about recording in the clubs, so that's why I didn't record. But I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you guys how much I made tonight. <laughs> I made the $660, which is not bad, but at the same time, it's not as much as I wish I would have made. But there was a lot of drama tonight with girls, and I'm going to spill all the tea about what happened tonight. One of my promo hosts, he told me there was going to be like a big group coming in. I was with a friend. We ended up hanging out with them. We were in there for, we were there for like a while. And for some weird reason, my friend's name wasn't on the list. After we finished doing our table and our dances, me and like six girls were splitting the money and like trying to count everything because it was, they threw a bunch of ones. There was like thousands and ones. And a host came back and he was counting six girls, but my friend wasn't on the list. So we were trying to get my friend on the list for like 30 minutes. And one girl that was in the group with us got very upset because 
she was like, well, if her name is not on the list, then she's not on the list. Nothing, there's nothing we can do about it or else you're gonna have to split the money. I'm like, what? Like, no, like she was here with us the whole time. So it's unnecessary for us to split the money. If I have to split my money, like that's fine. No big deal. But at the same time, like she was with us from the very beginning. As soon as like she started getting up on me, tell me why like five girls started to gain up on me, bitch. Five fucking crazy bitches were trying to gain up on me. Every time someone will make a comment trying to be like trying to bully me, I will call them out. I was like, why are you why like why are you saying that? Why are you trying to bully me? Like I'm I literally was like, I'm not gonna sit here and let you fucking bully me. Like, no, like fuck that. This is so fucking ridiculous. So then towards the end of like us counting the money, one of the other girls, the bully, was like, Can you hand me that stack? And I'm looking around like, I, she didn't even give me like five seconds to look for the stack. I'm like looking around like, I don't even know what stack she's talking about. And then she's like, why are you acting funny? Like the stack is right next to you. Like she was being so fucking rude. And I looked at her and I was like, I don't even know what fucking stack of money you're talking about. Yeah, it's next to me. You didn't even give me the fucking opportunity to look for the fucking stack. So as I'm like calling her out, she's like fucking bullying me. And then another bitch is bullying me. Another fucking bitch is bullying me. Girl, they're all like laughing and just being so fucking rude. And then the girl that asked for the stack, just because I popped off and like I defended myself and put my foot down to defend myself. Tell me why this bitch got up. She pulled the fucking black card on me talking about, I don't even know why the fuck she pulled the black card on me. I was like, girl no one is talking about your fucking the, the color of your skin like what the fuck i don't even know like it was like arguments after arguments after arguments and i'm like what the fuck are y'all talking about and i literally sat there i was like we're fighting over fucking money that, that's gonna get split between the six seven of us this is so fucking stupid like it got so crazy to the point where like a host in like security had to come and i'm the type of person where i'm very quiet and i'm stay i stay in my lane like i don't like to fight with girls because i think that's like super fucking ghetto and ratchet so fucking stupid so then later on in the night as we're waiting to get our money after counting it i'm talking to my home girl about it i'm talking to my friend that was with us she was so sweet like she defended me like she went fucking crazy too <laughs> it was so like insane um after me and her are like venting to one of my other homegirls about like what happened one of the girls that was in the group she happened to be right next to us she like chimes in our conversation she's like nobody was fucking bullying you yada 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 and i'm like first of all you're irrelevant second of all no one is talking to you third of all why the fuck are you even in our conversation girl it was so fucking ridiculous like it was so stupid and then my friend went fucking crazy girl like it was just like bitches yelling left to right i don't think i've ever gone into like a big argument like that ever in my life maybe in my life yeah but like in the strip club that will probably be like my second time ever getting into argument like that but Bitches be fighting over money and it's so fucking embarrassing. Anyways, I wish tonight would have been a better night, but I'm really grateful that I was able to make $660. <laughs> I wish I would have made more, but it's okay. Whatever. It is what it is. But I'm gonna go to sleep. Or actually, I'm gonna go take a shower, go to sleep, and then, yeah. So... I'm going to try my best to wake up early this time so I don't get to work too late. But I will see you guys when I wake up. So, bye. Hi, everybody. So, today is Super Bowl. And don't get mad at me, but I'm going to stay in today because I have a huge migraine. I did take an Excedrin and TMI, but I have a little bit of diarrhea right now <laughs> because... I drank last night, so my stomach is feeling really upset. And I know today's Super Bowl, but I just want to stay in and like rest because tomorrow I have a lash appointment at like 2.30, but I'm probably gonna go in earlier because my lash girl always gets me in earlier. But um, I'm also kind of embarrassed to go 
and work is look at my lashes girl they're fucking just oh my god they look like shit i'm embarrassed to go in like this like i have no lashes bitch look i got nothing right there so i'm just gonna go in tomorrow and then i'm gonna go in tuesday so yeah but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying my video so far and i will see you tomorrow good afternoon everyone today is monday the day after super bowl it is currently 1 37 p.m and i am about to go get my lash fill because your girl looks a little crazy look at <laughs> this is the outfit for today i put my hair in a little braid a cute long sleeve some cute little sweats and my fake ass ugg shoes from amazon so okay let's go y'all i'm fucking tired <sighs> okay let's go okay guys i'm done with my lashes oh i feel so not too naked i this my allergies are kicking my ass right now you hear that i can't even fucking breathe right now okay so i'm finally back home i had to get some packages that were in my mail for like <laughs> probably like a week or two so we're gonna open them up together and I'm gonna show you what I got. So I got these little mittens. We like to like bake cookies and stuff in the oven. So I needed to get some mittens. I got these on Amazon. And they're so cute, you guys. Look how cute these are. Look how cute this is. This is so cute. And I love the color. If you know me, I love um, like browns, whites, blacks, whites, like just like neutral colors. And I thought these were perfect. And I got some contacts. I have not used contacts in years. Okay, so I got Russian brown. So it's just like a light brown. And then I got some blue contacts. I think these are more of like a lighter green. It's so cute. And then I got a pair of, I think these are blue contacts. I got a couple of them. And I ended up getting this free heated round brush. It's been trending all over TikTok. Um, I'm a content creator, so I get a lot of free stuff. I'm going to open it up for you guys. So it looks like this. Isn't this so cute? And I love that it's pink. It's like an air dryer, I think. But you can like, like do like blowouts with this. But I don't have any layers. So I'm probably just going to do like an under type of curl. So I'm excited to use this. So hopefully my hair looks good with this. We'll see. We'll find out. And then I got a cute little cat toy for my cat. This is a smart interactive car toy. And I guess you can kind of like remote this and like move it around or like do it like automatic. Um, this one was also free. This is from the TikTok shop as well. Um, you guys should definitely buy some stuff on the TikTok shop, especially if you're a content creator because you can get free stuff. But even if you're not a content creator, I don't know. They have a lot of cool shit on there. So yeah, shout out to TikTok. And I have another package here. I think this one's from Buxom, um, Buxom Cosmetics. Every time I get a package from Buxom, it's always in a black box. So let's find out. Okay, I was wrong. Ah, it's from Ardell. Oh my God. So Ardell reached out to me and they wanted to send me like a bunch of lashes But I have eyelash extensions. So I just told them to send me makeup instead. Let's see what they got me Yo, they gave me lashes. I told them to not give me lashes because I can't use them So they gave me a whole pack of These individual lashes lash glue more lash glue more lash glue they got me more lashes more lashes brow lamination Oh, this I will definitely use. Okay, Ardell, I see you. Like, look at all this. Thank you, Ardell. If you're watching, thank you so much. Shout out to Ardell for sending me all these goodies. And I have another package here, which is my last one. I think this one's from Benefit Cosmetics because it's pink and it says BF. I think that's, oh, I think it's them. Oh my God. Okay, I was right. It was from Benefit. I don't know what this is, but... It says play with precision. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I am so happy they sent me more brow stuff. I actually just run out of a bunch of like brow product from Benefit. Um, let me see. They gave me a brow pencil, 
a brow definer and a brow wax. Yes, oh my gosh, yay. Thank you, Benefit. I appreciate you so much. Shout out to Benefit. Uh, definitely go check them out. They have some really, really good shit. Um, I don't know if you guys um, are aware of my favorite product in the whole world, which is the number one question I always get asked is, what do you use on your lips? How are your cheeks, your cheeks so pink? I use the Benetint. Um, it's amazing, hands down. Like any Benetint is amazing. So yeah, shout out to Benefit. Hey y'all. So I just ordered some Subway because I'm so hungry. And I'm just gonna lay down and relax um, with my cat. This is Mochi. We call her Big Booty Boach. We call her Poochie, Pookie. Oh, she's so cute. What are you doing? You're trying to reach the camera. Oh, you're adorable. My Pochi. Okay, well, I'm gonna chill for a little bit. I'm gonna take a shower and start getting ready. Okay, anyways, enough blabbing too much. I'm just gonna chill, wait for my food, and then my shower and get ready. So I will see you in a little bit. Okay, y'all, we are ready to go to work. Wish us luck. All right, y'all. I'm going home. Finally, I'm so tired. Uh, I'll do a money count when I get home. Hey y'all, so I'm finally back home. I am so freaking exhausted. It is currently five in the morning, so it's basically Tuesday. And today is my last day working. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done for the week. Tonight was a pretty good night. I wish I would have made more money but it was the day after super bowl so i wasn't expecting like a whole lot of money when i did walk into my club there was not any people like i was there so i got there like at 11 12 until like 4 in the morning like 4 30. so i was there for a couple hours and throughout the whole night i thought it was gonna get more packed but it wasn't girl it was so freaking dead but I made money tonight and I'm really happy about that. Um, tonight I made $960. So I'm super happy about that. And just like an over, an over cap. I don't know if that's the right term or the right word. But just like an overview of like how much I made Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Monday. So in four days, I made $4,466. I know. Don't judge me. I, trust me, I expected to make more money, but it's okay. I'm happy that I was able to make like maybe like four grand or whatever. I'm, re I'm very grateful, I'm very blessed. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Sorry if it was a little boring. I wanted to record more in the club, but I just don't wanna get in trouble. And just for everyone's privacy, I don't want to record like other women working because it's just disrespectful. So I try my best to record just like little small stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Let me know what you guys want to see on the next video. I really want to do like a makeup tutorial or maybe like a house tour once my apartment is all together or maybe like spend a day with me. So let me know what you guys want to see. And last thing I want to say is make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. It would really help out my channel if you subscribe and like my video and comment and just, you know, support me. Because, girl, it took me a long time to fucking edit these videos, okay? Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me and i just i just love you guys thank you so much yeah all right well i'm gonna end this video and good night bye